All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global's sixth anniversary started yesterday. And since then, I've actually been getting a ton of questions from people asking me exactly what all of these tickets that we've been getting are used for. And if you think about it from the perspective of a returning player who's been away from the game for an extended period of time, or especially a new player who's you know, never played the game before, uh, it can be pretty overwhelming since there's so much stuff happening at the same time, right? So in today's video, I'm going to try my best to quickly explain to you guys exactly what each of the potentially five anniversary tickets we'll be getting throughout the celebration are used for and also where you can actually obtain them. All right, so we're going to start first with the three tickets that are mentioned in the in-game news, and they are the regular 6th anniversary ticket, the 66 special summon ticket, as well as the rainbow tons of thanks ticket. Okay, so starting with the most basic one that we've actually been getting since the beginning of June, and at this point, if you guys, I mean, assuming you haven't spent them already, if you guys have been collecting them and doing all the missions, you should have somewhere around, I think, 101 of these 6th anniversary tickets. And these can be spent on the 6th anniversary banner, which is this ticket summon right here with the Krillin in the front, and the Whis and Bados, and Dispo and Topo in the back. And uh, you can find this banner in the game right now. So go over to the summon screen, and you can feel free to spend the tickets uh, you know, as, as you're watching this video or whatever, because there's no real reason to hold on to them. Some people were asking me on the stream yesterday, they're like, are they going to give us like double rates at some point? Or is there a reason to like hold on to them to save them for a while? And uh, the answer is no. So if you want to spend your tickets, if you want to summon on something before the dual Dokkan Fest drops, then go ahead and spend your tickets. And taking a quick look here at the featured units, We've actually got some really, really good non Dokkan Fest units like the AGL Krillin, AGL Fit Boo is awesome, um, STR Whis and Int Bados are also both very good support units. Um, the Topos are great. Uh, pretty much all of the Kale and Khaliflas are also amazing pulls. AGL Khalifla, Fizz Kale, the base tech Khalifla, and STR Kale. And uh, of course, we can't forget about my boy, Fizz. For Godmo, definitely a good unit to have. So uh, yeah, the featured pull is good, but I'm guessing most people are much more excited for the unfeatured pull where you can pull a number of LRs. Let me see, there's one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. So almost 30 actually, well, 29 LRs are on the banner this time around including the Tech LR Gohan, as well as STR Turles. So some very recent LR releases are available on this banner. I've seen people show me uh, a bunch of LR pulls, actually, man. Some guys showed me his double LR multi, and it's not even a full multi. It's a seven unit multi, right? So he got two LRs in the same multi. Same thing could definitely happen to you guys, of course it's not likely, but you do have the opportunity to pull any of the LRs that you see here. So yeah, there's the banner for the anniversary ticket, and that's the first one. Now the second ticket we can talk about is this one right here, the 66 special summon ticket. And uh, this is probably the ticket that I've been getting the most questions for, because a lot of people confuse this ticket with this ticket, right? So they're obviously different. And this ticket is gonna be for the 66 unit uh, guaranteed LR banner. And there's two different versions of this banner. The first version is the stone banner, which can be summoned on with 250 stones for a guaranteed LR and 66 units. Whereas the ticket banner is summoned on with the special tickets. But the thing is, we need to collect 66 tickets before we can do the multi if you're short and only got like you know 50 of them or 55 or whatever you can't do the summon okay you need all 66 tickets and because of that we actually can't use these tickets until part three of the anniversary begins since as it says in the news here 
These tickets are obtainable through login bonus and special missions, and if you recall yesterday, when the anniversary began, we got 6 tickets in our box for the first login, and then the remaining 60 tickets are obtained through part 1 to part 3 special missions. So that means we have to wait until part 3 for the final missions with the final tickets become available, and at that time, we can get all 66 tickets and then do our guaranteed LR multi. Now, uh, I might make a separate video going over every single mission you need to complete, but for now, all I'm gonna say is try to stay up to date with your special missions for each part, and if you do that, then you will have all 66 tickets by part 3, okay? And uh, yeah, that's the second ticket right there for the rainbow ticket here. This one is uh, not actually usable until part 2 starts, and this is actually a pretty interesting new addition for this year that we hadn't had in previous anniversaries and uh, what happens in part 2 is that we'll be able to use this ticket to summon on three different banners and those banners are number one the AGLLR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku banner number two the Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner and finally also the top legendary summon with the two new LRs in part two so yeah obviously this will be once the uh, discount period for the dual dual contest is over and you can choose any of these banners to use your rainbow tickets on so obviously that's pretty nice of them um and that's what the rainbow tickets for and in terms of how you can get these they're obtainable through login bonuses and special missions and uh, as it says, can be used in summon events that will become available in late July. So right now we're in early July, they're referring to part 2 of the celebration. And uh, I think I forgot to mention that you can get these through login bonuses, as well as special missions and daily missions, okay? So those are the three tickets that we currently know about for sure in the news. And I did say earlier that there are potentially up to five different tickets that we can get for the anniversary. And I say potentially because we don't know for sure if these other two tickets will be available this year. But going by the trend, the history of this game, we should be getting them, you know? So I will quickly mention them in today's video as well. But uh, I guess there is a chance that we don't get them, which would be very unfortunate. But I'm referring to the dual Dokkan Fest, Dokkan Festival A and Dokkan Festival B tickets that we typically get for almost all dual Dokkan Fests in this game, with the exception of the Worldwide Celebration, which is a you know joint celebration for Global and JP at the same time. So we don't get Dokkan Festival tickets for those. But for pretty much every other dual Dokkan Fest we've had for the past three plus years, we've had Dokkan Festival tickets, which are given out when we do summons on the Dual Dokkan Festival for the celebration. So in this case, it would be the MUI Goku banner and SSB Vegeta banner that should give us these Dokkan Festival tickets. And here's a quick look at the... This was actually the discount for, I think, the fourth anniversary. For some reason, I couldn't find the image for the fifth anniversary, but it should be something similar to this where the first couple of steps are extra discounted. So they're going to be either 30 stones each, or maybe it's going to be something like 25, 35, 40, something like that. And for each multi that we do, we get three Dokkan Festival A or Dokkan Festival B tickets, depending on which banner we're summoning on. And then we can use these tickets to summon on a ticket version of the same banner. So let's say, for example, um, Goku's banner is Dokkan Festival A. Then when you summon on his banner, you get these Dokkan Festival A tickets, and then you can summon on the ticket version of the Goku banner with those Dokkan Festival A tickets. So essentially, if you're doing, you know, a bunch of multis, you're getting a ton of extra summons with these tickets. And I don't know for sure if we're getting them this year, mainly because of the presence of the rainbow ticket. I don't know if Bandai thinks that because we're getting the rainbow ticket, we don't need the dual Dokkan Fest tickets anymore, but that's obviously not true because, I mean, we're getting so many more summons with the dual Dokkan Festival tickets 
since, I mean, I think a lot of people are planning to do a lot of summons with stones on their banners, which would lead to a lot of Dokkan Festival tickets being given out too, right? So, um, I really hope that's not the case. I really hope that we do still get the Dokkan Fest A and B tickets. There should be one more data download before the uh, dual Dokkan Fest drops, at which time we will know for sure if there are Dokkan Festival A tickets and Dokkan Festival B tickets. Most people that I've talked to seem to think that we are still going to get those tickets. But as I said, it's not guaranteed. It's not 100%. So, um, I am slightly concerned. I am slightly concerned, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but there you go, guys. That is today's video. We are getting five tickets potentially in total. Three guaranteed, two that are probably coming, but we'll find out very soon. Oh, you know what? Before we go, there are technically three other tickets that um, I didn't mention yet, but those are not going to be available to everyone, so that's why I don't want to spend too much time on them, but there are going to be two premium tickets that are going to be available in the Pilafs Trove for both the Goku banner and the Vegeta banner, and uh, they'll be, you know, purchasable through those Pilafs Trove packs, so for any pay-to-play players out there, you can also buy additional tickets for Goku and Vegeta's banner if uh, you want to, you know, get extra summons that way. And there will also definitely be some Extreme Z Awakening tickets that are once again available in the Pilafs Trove for uh, the Int UI Goku Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakening, as well as the LR Goku and Frieza Extreme Z Awakenings. So yeah, if you're paid to play, you can also buy those tickets, but there's no way for free to play players to get them. So the ones that I focused on in this video, the five are the tickets that, you know, all players, including free to play players, will be able to get. Okay, so uh, there you have it. That should cover all the tickets that we can expect to see for the anniversary now. I guess technically there will be up to nine, but the main five are the ones that most of you guys should be concerned about. And uh, there you have it. Hopefully, this video helped answer some questions that you guys had. And uh, that's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the TAM video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.